guys, this is Miss Leslie from the Paul Sawyer Public Library. Thanks so much for joining me today. And as you can see from the background behind me here, we are all about snow. And that's usually what the month of January is all about. Snowfall, snowmen, sledding, all kinds of cool stuff like that. Well, today I'm gonna to show you how to make your own snowman that will never melt. I'm gonna show you how to make a shredded paper snowman. So hang tight and we'll get started. All right, guys, let's get to making our shredded paper snowman. Now, one of the things that I like to do, whether I'm cooking, baking, or crafting, is I like to have all my materials out in front of me. So, what I have in front of me are all my things to create my snowman. I've got some googly eyes, which already have adhesive on them. I have some buttons for the front of the snowman. Now, if you don't have buttons, that is completely okay. You can use pom-poms, you can use whatever you have, or you don't have to add buttons at all. That's completely up to you. I have my background for my snowman. Now, I chose blue just because of the winter theme, but you can use construction paper that is different colors. It does not have to be blue. It can be whatever you want, cardstock, whatever you have available. And the one that I showed you earlier, the snowman, the actual snowman itself without all the embellishments on it was one that I printed out. It was a blank template that already had the snowman done and I just filled in with all the embellishments. But if you don't have that or you don't wanna print one out, what you can do is you can create your own. So I've got some cups here and I've got a black marker that I'm gonna use for tracing. I've got some glue to glue on my embellishments. Now I've got plain old Elmer's glue, but if you have craft glue, glue dots, whatever you have available, that's what you use. I've got some shredded paper over here. Now this shredded paper is paper that is used for gifts or packing that you can buy at the party or the craft store. But if you don't have that, that is okay. You can shred your own paper. And if you don't wanna do that, I've got a couple of other options that I can show you for your snowman as well. So I've got that. I've got some pipe cleaners for his arms. You can draw the arms on the snowman. You do not have to use pipe cleaners. And I've got some orange card stock and I've got some black card stock over here. The orange for his nose and the black for his top hat. But if you want to add mittens or you want to add earmuffs or make him a winter hat, feel free. It is your creation to do whatever you want. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my cup and I'm going to draw out the body of my snowman. Now, like I said, the one that I showed you that I made earlier, the body was already printed out for me, just a blank snowman body that I used off of the internet. So I cheated a little bit. But this one, I'm gonna show you how to draw using some things you have at home. So just a cup and a magic marker. And it doesn't have to be perfect. No worries on that, because you're just gonna cover up the body anyway. So I'm gonna draw that out. All right, and there's the body of your snowman. I'm gonna turn that up. And as you can see, I got black magic marker. So that's the body of your snowman. So now what you're gonna do, is you're gonna go in and you're just gonna add some glue. Because with the shredded paper, all you're gonna do is push that shredded paper into the glue. And once you turn the snowman up so you can see it, you'll see if there are any holes in your shredded paper where you need to add more, where there's too much glue or not enough glue. Some of it might fall off and you have to add to it, and that is okay, that gives him some character. So all I'm gonna do is take some of my shredded paper and start pressing it down onto my snowman. And you can see how it's kind of springy, and that is okay. And this, usually lay it flat after you're finished, and it will dry in about 30 to 45 minutes depending on all the embellishments that you put on him and how much glue you use. I'm gonna go back and fill in some of the gaps with my paper and if some of it falls off, that's okay. And you can really add as much or as little as you want. It's your snowman. That's all I'm gonna add there. And that's kind of what it looks like once you get all your paper on there. Whoop, and see, as you can see, some of it falls off. And that's okay, it's pretty easy to stick back on 
or some of it's just excess from where you grabbed a bunch and that's okay and if some of it falls off no worries all right so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to add my eyes and you don't ha if you don't have googly eyes no worries you can get some construction paper or some cardstock and you can cut out your own from the construction paper and cardstock but i just had these so i cheated a little bit so i'm gonna put those on there i'm gonna take my orange cardstock here with my scissors and i'm gonna cut out a little nose Actually, I'm going to cut this in half so I can get a better triangle nose for him. But you can use a pom-pom. You can use whatever you want. But I just, want him, I just want it to look more like a carrot nose. So that's what I'm doing here. And while I'm here, I'm going to grab my black card stock and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add his top hat. But if you want to do a more wintry hat or earmuffs or a scarf, that's the thing about this snowman. You can make it your own. I just want him to have a top hat like Frosty. Frosty was big when I was a little girl and I remember watching it with my family so I always think of Frosty the Snowman and his top hat. So my snowman has to have a top hat. Alright, so I've got his top hat on there and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put some buttons on there but if you don't want buttons you don't have to. If you want pom-poms, add pom-poms whatever you have available and that's the thing these buttons will need a little time to dry because obviously they're heavier than the paper and the shredded paper so they will need a little extra time you can use different size buttons whatever you have different colored buttons all right so I'm gonna stick those down, grab that and pull it out of the way. All right, so I've got his buttons on. Now I'm gonna add his arms. Now, if you don't have pipe cleaners, you can draw on arms. You don't have to have arms, whatever you wanna do. But I'm just making them look more like twigs that you would find outside. And instead of using regular glue, because they tend to stick better with these glue dots, I'm gonna put glue dots on here. For his arms and that way it'll go a little faster and they don't have to be perfect because when you're creating a snowman outside he's not going to be perfect because you have different shapes of branches and what you have available so no worries so now i'm going to cut some fingers here or hands, so to speak. All right. I like using my glue dots. They make things so much easier. Especially for these arms. got that arm on and I'm going to add a few more arms over here I'm going to add a little I'm going to try one of them with a little bit of regular glue and see how that does just to see the difference just to give you another option because like I said if you don't have glue dots regular glue is fine too I just cheated with the glue dots to make it go a little faster that did well that did well all right so now he's got his top hat he's got his googly eyes and his nose and his buttons and his arms 
And I'm gonna turn him up just a little bit so you can see the finished product because we don't want our stuff to fall off because it's still drying. Let me get that little extra bit of paper off there. But that is your shredded paper snowman. And it's just as easy. And you can add any embellishments you want. Like on the one I showed you earlier, I had some extra stars and snowflakes and I put those on there. You can add whatever you want. It's as easy as, it's as, easy as this. And if you don't have shredded paper, but you still wanna create a snowman, there are some other options for things around your house. So I used cotton balls for this snowman and just like my shredded paper snowman, I added my buttons and my nose and my top hat and some snowflakes, that's another option. Or you can do torn paper. I grabbed a sheet of white cardstock and tore it up, traced out my snowman just like I did for the shredded paper one and I used torn paper. And you can see on this one, I even added a mouth. But these are some other options if by chance you don't have shredded paper. You can use torn paper, you can use cotton balls. There are lots of different options for making your snowman. But that is how you make a shredded paper snowman that unlike the ones you make outside, this one will never melt. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed making your shredded paper snowman today. And just remember, if you don't have shredded paper, there are lots of other options like cotton balls and torn paper. But the main thing is to create a snowman that will never melt and enjoy it all year round. So thanks so much for joining me today. And please, as always, if you make your shredded paper snowman, share it with us. We'd love to see it. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.